Hi, a familiar story. In the last couple of weeks, played really well. Deserved more out of the game. Mm -hmm. Had big chances. Vlasic first yeah. half, Lanzini second. But yep. Ty is still very much alive going to next mm. Thursday. Yep, we had opportunities tonight. Uh, we've done a lot of good things, but Seville are a tough team. Very, very good team. And uh, we've done enough to probably get a draw from the game, maybe. We had some chances, but also Seville had some opportunities. But the Vlasic chance early on was, was a huge chance. And uh, I thought Lanzini's as well was a big chance. And it is, it's a, a regular occurrence in the last few games. We've, you know, we should have probably got a point at Anfield. And, Tonight we could have we could have easily come away with a draw as well. So we have to try and turn those those good chances into goals because at the moment we're not finishing off after it's good work, good effort, and we're needing to take those chances. How disappointed are you by the defending for the goal? Well, I felt that uh, it, we know exactly what our organisation was supposed to be, and it didn't quite work out the way it was meant to be. It didn't go; it, it wasn't exact. Uh, so I'm really disappointed with it because it was a lack of concentration. And when you think of tonight, if you felt if there was any team going to score a goal from a set piece, it would probably be us. And, uh, you know, I have to say that that's disappointing. But on the other hand, you have to say it was a wonderful finish. You know, technically, we're just talking about finishing well technically when you get your chances in the box, making sure you score, you know, connecting correctly. You have to say that the, the boy connected brilliantly well for, for the finish. David, David, you mentioned the, the two missed chances by Vlasic and, and then Lanzini. Are, are the lads maybe thinking about it too much? Maybe just slight hesitation? Mm. Is it going through their minds when it lands in front of them? I think we I think we could do... I think there's a few opportunities we could have probably set other things up better. I think we could have made better chances for each other to score. So it's something I need to uh, I need to push again with them this week. But they, they know, you know, at the moment, I think we're just lacking... And we've had we had a period early in the season where we had a, a, a bit similar where we we didn't score and we were a bit behind it and we came back onto it, and that's when you need to be able to keep clean sheets. And to be fair, for long periods today we had defended well, uh, just a lack of concentration in the in the last one, and uh, you know the last two games we've narrowly lost. Can you just give us a word on, on Declan Rice to play 90-odd minutes, yeah. having been as, as ill as he was yeah. at the weekend? Yeah, he, he, he does a great job for us, Declan. You know, everybody's aware how the big job he is and how good a player he is. So we have to hope that uh, he can keep going again. But he was really, really unwell for over the weekend. So it says a lot about him because he put in a really good performance tonight. David, this is obviously a very difficult place to come, especially in this competition. But you've spoken about the trend in recent weeks have not been able to convert those chances. Can you explain how you go from, you know, you're the fourth highest scorers in the Premier League and scoring mm -hmm. so freely early in the season. Can you put your finger on maybe what's what's changed recently? No, I think if you I think if you said we had we hadn't been creating the chances, I might have thought, well this is a real problem. We're not getting it, we're not getting anywhere near the chances. But there is I'm I'm still trying to get other people more opportunities and uh, but you know my biggest concern tonight was I was going to say are we going to give West Ham supporters a really good night tonight? Are we going to give them a real chance to see their team in action in the last 16 of the Europa League against a good side next week at the London Stadium? Well, we are. We're going to give them a really good good night next week. Uh, our players will be in really good spirits and ready to go. And you know what happens in football quite often? It comes around, your goals will come around somewhere. So I'm hoping that I get them in the next three games. That would be great before we go into the international break. So... I'm hoping that we need to get sharper, we need to be quicker to the ball in the box, we need to be more aggressive. All those things to get us, the, get us over the line a little bit. And let's be fair, we've done a lot of good things tonight, we just couldn't really take the one or two opportunities we got. Aside from the chances, you've spoken about going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the, the bigger sides. You must feel like you did that in every department, aside from mm -hmm. just that last bit tonight, and that must give you encouragement. Yeah. For next well, I know Seville were without some players tonight, but we were without some players as well. And for us to come here and, and be competitive, and as I said, give ourselves a good opportunity in the second leg, we really have. We've given ourselves a chance. Uh, I hope we have the noise like uh, we heard tonight inside the London Stadium because it was a great atmosphere and great credit to the Seville supporters for the, you know, the way they, they supported their team and absolutely dragged their team through it in the midway through the second half. They really did. So it's, uh, it's the way to support your side. Can I just check what the 
what are the chances of Bourne being back in time for next week's second leg? I have no idea at the moment. We're we're still we're still trying to sort of clear up exactly the injury. It, it, in all, all the scans and all the information we've got, it doesn't look uh, it doesn't look too bad. But his action coming off the pitch at Anfield made it look as if this seemed quite a bit more serious than what we thought. But it hasn't added up. But since then, I mean, Jared's slightly improving, but maybe not as fast as we'd hoped, uh, you know, if we thought it wasn't anything serious. So we're still trying to get to the bottom exactly, exactly Jared's injury. But maybe tomorrow we get back and Jared's, Jared's OK. It could be, it could just be one of these things. Hi, yeah. Uh, for TV here in Spain, remember Spanish? Talking yeah, a little. A little. Yeah. Uh, what about the the, feet, the atmosphere here in Seville? It, it was fantastic. You know, England has a, a great uh, tradition of the supporters, the stadiums. But I have to say, the Seville supporters tonight were were terrific. Really, really good. I actually think that they they drove their team on probably to get the result tonight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, David, you just spoke about wanting to make the London Stadium a fortress. Um, talk me through the role you hope they'll play next week in the return leg. Our support. Yeah. Well, I think if I think in football, I'm always looking for uh, where I can pick up. You know, who's who's got the best, who does the best. Well, you know, we should at West Ham look to see how well they've done it at, at Seville tonight because the the crowd were great. Crowd drove them on incredibly well in the second half, and. Uh, and probably got them over the line, I think. So we need our crowd to do the same at, at the London Stadium. And they will do, because we'll give them something to shout about next week. Cool. Thanks, David. Por aquí, Mister, 22 remates ha hecho hoy el Sevilla durante todo el partido. No sé si con ese dato eh, se puede ir contento con los cero. Quizás si el equipo local hubiera tenido más acerto, la eliminatoria hubiera podido quedar casi resuelta hoy. Yeah, I agree. Could have been. But it's not. It's not. Okay. They had 22 shots. Okay. All good? Okay, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.